Hypopituitarism. Hypopituitarism is a condition defined by a lack of hormone production by the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland produces a multitude of important hormones which are necessary for the body to function normally. Hypopituitarism can be related to the production of a single hormone, such as human growth hormone, or multiple hormones associated with the pituitary gland. There are two forms of hypopituitarism, primary hypopituitarism and secondary hypopituitarism. Primary hypopituitarism is the result in issues related to the physiological function of the pituitary gland itself, which suppress the body's ability to produce pituitary hormones. For example, HGH deficiency is sometimes the result of tumors on or around the pituitary gland which inhibit the ability of cellular organs known as somatotrophs from producing human growth hormone. Secondary hypopituitarism is the other form of hypopituitarism and is actually the most common. Secondary hypopituitarism refers to conditions which inhibit the ability of the pituitary gland to perform its normal and healthy function, resulting from issues upstream from the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus regulates most hormone functions in the human body and is the primary root cause of both age-related HGH deficiency and low testosterone. In the case of age-related human growth hormone deficiency, the hypothalamus sends smaller and smaller signals for HGH over time, which can eventually lead to symptoms of deficiency. Age-related testosterone deficiency, also known as andropause, is the result of declining levels of gonadotropin-releasing hormone produced by the hypothalamus which leads to inhibited production of luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone by the pituitary, which impacts the production of both testosterone and sperm. Testosterone deficiency is largely caused by the overactivity of estrogen receptors on the hypothalamus, which inhibit testosterone precursor signaling, whereas growth hormone deficiency is more complex, although somatostatins do seem to play a role. Somatostatins are hormones which bind to GHRH receptor sites in the pituitary gland, inhibiting the production of growth hormone. Adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, stimulates the adrenal gland to release cortisol. Cortisol helps to maintain blood pressure and blood sugar. Antidiuretic hormone, ADH controls water loss by the kidneys. Follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, influences sexual functionality in males and females. Growth hormone, GH, stimulates and increases growth of tissues and bone. Luteinizing hormone, LH, influences sexual functionality in males and females. Oxytocin, stimulates the uterus to contract during birth and the female breasts to release milk. Prolactin, enhances female breast development and increases milk production. Thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, activates the thyroid gland to release hormones that affects metabolism. There are a number of health problems and medical procedures that can damage the pituitary gland, causing hypopituitarism. The most common are brain surgery and head trauma, infections to the brain and spinal cord, radiation, whether from outside sources or cancer treatment, and aneurysm. The list of symptoms related to hypopituitarism is very long due to the large variety of important hormones produced by the pituitary gland. Here is a basic list of the major symptoms related to this disorder, and I also have some symptoms listed behind me on the board. Abdominal pain, decreased food appetite, decreased male sexual interest, failure for women to release milk, fatigue, headache, infertility in women, lack of female sex drive, loss of armpit or pubic hair, loss of male body or facial hair, low blood pressure, temperature, sensitivity to the cold, 
short height, less than five feet, if onset is during a growth period, such as as a child, slowed growth and sexual development in children, cessation of menstrual periods in women, vision problems, weakness and weight loss. Our website is focused primarily on the correction of human growth hormone levels. Growth hormone is tied to a number of body functions, including metabolism, lipid management, mental disorders, and muscle and skeletal development. If you believe you are suffering from growth hormone deficiency as a result of hypopituitarism, it is essential that you contact a physician for a simple blood test to determine what your current levels of HGH are and what treatment options are available and would be best to correct your levels if you are deficient. Thank you for watching.